Welcome to the Eric Avisar Show. I never thought I would be saying this about Virginia Tech going on the road to play Notre Dame, but yesterday's 21-20 loss was absolutely heartbreaking. The Hokies were playing with house money going into South Bend. They were 17 and a half point underdogs, but they lost on Notre Dame's final offensive drive of the game with quarterback Ian Book running it into the end zone from seven yards out for the game winning touchdown. Now, the Fighting Irish got away with holding all game long on so many plays, including the game winning touchdown and the officials did absolutely everything they could to help the home team win. It was pathetic from the refs, particularly on that roughing the passer call on the final drive that would have otherwise been the game-winning interception for the Hokies. But of course, that was not going to happen with all the home cooking taking place in Indiana yesterday. In no world could you ever call that roughing the passer in good faith. And as disgraceful as the officiating was, the Hokies only put themselves in position to lose because of the incompetent play calling from offensive coordinator Brad Coward Cornelson. He is without question the worst offensive coordinator I have ever seen at Virginia Tech, and he makes me pine for the days of Brian Steinspring. That is really saying something. Running the ball on third and 10, a quarterback draw, absolutely unacceptable. I get it. Quincy Patterson has a very, very long way to go when it comes to throwing the football. He made a lot of errant passes, but there were still many plays where QP was not put in position to be successful because of Cornelson's play calling. QP only went 9 of 28, and yet the Hokies still had a chance to win. That's really saying a lot. And As we know, when it comes to football, particularly in college football, if you play not to lose, you're going to lose. And that is exactly why I throw out such a strong word like coward to describe Brad Cornelson's play calling. It's atrocious. He cannot be fired quickly enough. And unfortunately, I don't see that happening anytime soon. I still put this loss on Cornelson's shoulders. What we learned today is that Virginia Tech is still miles, but not light years away from competing with college football's elite. Even with the offensive uh, coaching malpractice taking place, the Hokies still nearly found a way to pull off a huge win on the road. Divine Diablo's 98-yard inter- uh, sorry fumble recovery touchdown return was electrifying. It was so spectacular to see uh, in real time. And his interception was stellar as well. So Diablo had an incredible performance, especially for a guy who's overcome so many injury problems and adversity in his career. Great to see Dax Holyfield uh, get a pick of his own to boot. But man, if the Hokies had won this game, they would have gotten top 25 votes, which was unthinkable after the Duke disaster. So credit to Justin Fuente for not losing the locker room after such a horrible loss. But the fact remains that Cornelson is squandering so much incredible offensive talent with the likes of Trey Turner, Hezekiah Grimsley, and Damon Hazelton. Man, they deserve better. Bud Foster actually did an incredible job of leading a young defense yesterday. You know, I really give Foster as much credit as I have for any game this season for preparing the defense to go out and fight and be successful because they really gave Notre Dame fits. Ian Book had to throw a lot of passes away. He was under a lot of pressure and the scheme was very solid. Rayshard Ashby, look, He is the engine, the heart and soul of the defense. A team high 13 tackles with three tackles for loss. Man, he is a special player. I expect to see him playing on Sundays one day as well. So while this loss was extremely difficult to take, the Hokies will have to find a way to overcome this gut punch and bounce back next week in Lane Stadium, taking on Wake Forest in ACC play. Bottom line, so disappointed with the offensive coaching staff, but very proud of the fight 
of the Virginia Tech players. Thank you so much for tuning in and please subscribe to my channel.